Welcome back everyone. Today I'll be doing January 2022 CSEC Mathematics question one. Let's get started. Here we're going to use a calculator or otherwise to find the exact value of 8.9 plus 31.6 all over 0 0.75 times 5.4. So the first thing I am going to add 8.9, you can put 8.9 plus 31.6 in your calculator and we will get 40.5. Next, I will multiply 0 0.75 times 5.4 in our calculator to get 4.05. Then dividing this, you're going to say 40.5 divided by 4.05 and our exact value will be 10. And that's it. So we're going to find the value of 3.9 times tan 18 degrees correct to one decimal place. So all we have to do is enter 3.9 times tan 18. Ensure that your calculator is in degrees. You're seeing D or D E G on the screen. So it's 3.9 times tan 18. You'll be getting 1.267186 and it continues. But the question says one decimal place. So let me just write some of the numbers. All right, so it's continuing. But since it says one decimal place, behind the two is a six, so we round up. So the answer is 1.3. The next question says Rhea is paid at a rate of $13.50 per hour. During a certain week, she worked 40 hours. How much did she earn that week? So all we have to do is say 13.5 times. 40, and when we multiply this, this will give us $540. So therefore, it's saying for a normal 40 or a week that Rhea worked, she will be paid $540. The next question states, Rhea worked four weeks in the month of August and her gross earnings was $2,463.75. Her regular week comprised of 40 hours and overtime was paid at time and a half, which is one and a half times the hourly rate, showed that Rhea worked 15 hours overtime in August. First thing, it states that Rhea worked for four weeks. In a normal week, Rhea worked $540 for one week. So it means if she worked for four weeks, it would be four times 540. And that will give me the amount that she worked for so four weeks, which is a month. It is $2,160. Now, let's look at the overtime. So for the overtime, we are going to say this amount, which is $2,463.75 minus $2,160. That will give me $303.75. So that's the amount we are received for overtime work. Since it's at time and a half, that means the new rate being paid at time and a half would be 1.5 times 13.50. So for overtime, RIA is paying $20.25 when you multiply this. So it means that to find the number of overtime hours, number, over time, hours, 
it's going to be equal to the overtime money, which is $303.75, divided by the rate that is being paid, which is $20.25. And that's how we get the 50 hours. And that's it. Now, the next question that we have here, it states that in August, 20% of Rhea's gross earning was deducted as tax. How much money does she have left after deduction? Now, remember, after the four weeks, this is the amount that's been paid, $2,000. $2,463.75. So it's $2,463.75, and we can find 20% of this. This is one way to do it. Find 20% of this. Now, I will multiply $2,463.75 times 20. Then we divide it by 100. So I will get $492.75, that's a tax. So the amount that's left will be $2,463.75 minus $492.75, and we will have $1,971. So this is the amount that Rhea received after tax is being deducted. Rhea invested $219 of her earnings for three years at the rate of 4.5% per annum simple interest. How much interest did she receive in three years? So I'm able to see that the principal, which is the amount invested, is $219. The rate is 4.5 divided by 100. So in other words, the rate is 0 0.045 time is equal to three. So simple interest is equal to principal, which is $219 times the rate, which is 0 0.045 times three years to give us $29.57. And that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have more questions, you can leave a comment below.